Setting up a comfy home for your new sugar glider buddies is easy when you know what they like. In this video, we will walk you through easy step-by-step -step instructions to get their cage fully prepped. Whether you're a first-time or seasoned glider owner, there are some crucial tips to get their habitat fully loaded for maximum fun and safety. Let's get started setting up your gliders forever home! Petopedia. How large should a sugar glider cage be? When you're getting a home for your sugar gliders, these little guys are super active and love to jump and climb, so give them plenty of room. We recommend a tall cage at least 3 feet high. Make sure it's also a 2 feet wide and 2 feet long to let your sugar glider zoom around. Check that the bars are close together, no more than half an inch apart, so their heads stay safe. Picking the right sized cage will keep your sugar gliders healthy and happy in their new space. While choosing a cage for your sugar gliders, bar spacing is a key factor. These flexible little escapists can squeeze through incredibly tight spaces. To keep your gliders safely inside their new home, we recommend bar spacing no wider than half an inch. Any wider end your gliders may get their head stuck or even wiggle free entirely. Closely spaced bars prevent entrapments and injuries. They also give you peace that your tiny acrobats won't go on unsupervised adventures. For their health and safety, be sure to double-check that bar spacing before bringing home your sugar glider cage. Tightly spaced bars lead to securely happy gliders. Are you struggling to explain your idea? Your audience is not getting what you're trying to say. An animated explainer video is a perfect solution for you. Explainer video simplifies any complex ideas through engaging animations, transitions, voiceovers, and meaningful scripts, which all together create a fun experience for any viewer. And here comes Ten Studio, a team of skilled professionals dedicated to creating engaging explainer videos. With over thousands completed projects, we have the expertise to create explainer videos that break down your message and connect with your audience. Get in touch with Ten Studio today. When it comes to temperature, sugar gliders thrive in moderate conditions. The ideal range is between 70 to 76 degrees Fahrenheit with 45 to 50 percent humidity. Colder environments cause them to sleep more and eat less. Too hot and they can overheat. Never use heating pads or lamps. These can seriously injure or even kill gliders. Instead, place a space heater about 2 feet from their cage to gently warm the area if needed. In humid areas, a dehumidifier prevents illness. Monitoring temperature and humidity keeps your little gliders healthy and active in their new home. In terms of choosing a spot for your sugar gliders cage, go for a quiet room where they can see and hear you without feeling too out in the open. Since sugar gliders are active at night, it's best not to put them in your bedroom. Also, avoid places with direct sunlight, loud TVs or speakers, and heating or cooling vents. Sugar glider is like a comfy temperature between 65 to 76 degrees Fahrenheit, so find a spot that stays within this range. Keep their cage away from drafts and sudden temperature changes that might mess up their routine. A cozy, peaceful occasion will make them feel safe and happy while they explore their surroundings and hang out with you. Selecting the right bedding is a key for your sugar glider's comfort. Stick with materials made specifically for them, like recycled paper bedding, you can fluff into a cozy nest. Other good options are aspen wood shavings or unprinted shredded paper. Steer clear of scented beddings or common substrates that could be toxic to your gliders. If unsure, check with your vet before using a new bedding. Lining their cage with safe, snuggly materials gives your energetic gliders a welcoming place to curl up and sleep during the day. Provide fluffy bedding they can burrow into and your nocturnal buddies will feel right at home in their new cage. Sugar gliders are tiny scape artists, so cage security is vital. Choose a cage with no wider than half an inch bar spacing to avoid squeezed escapes. Opt for multiple feed doors to access a cage without unleashing gliders. Double check that the latch is securely clasped shut. Tiny paws can surprisingly undo less sturdy locks. Consider weighting or clamping the cage so these agile acrobats don't tip it open. Taking precautions prevents losing your precious pets. A secure cage lets you relax, knowing your sugar gliders safely stay inside until cuddle time. 
Investing in a sturdy, properly closed cage saves endless stress for both you and your mischievous little gliders. Outfitting your sugar gliders cage with fun essentials keeps them active and enriched. Be sure to include climbing branches, tunnels, tents, swings, hammocks, and toys like ladders, cubes, and rings. Wheels are a must to satisfy their boundless energy. Choose a safety-approved model made specifically for nimble gliders. Don't forget practical necessities like food bowls, water bottles, pouches, and cozy bedding too. Loading your home with equipment for playtime, dining, and downtime meets all your petite pet's needs. Watching them scamper through your tricked-out habitat will bring you both joy. Equipping their cage for excitement and comfort enriches their little lives. Don't forget to supply food and water for your sugar gliders cage. Use small bolts that attach to the sides or clip to the wires. Fill them with a balanced diet of fruits, veggies, protein, and specialized pellets. Always keep fresh water available in a no-drip bottle made for small pets. Avoid plastic to prevent chemicals from leaching into the water over time. Glass bottles are ideal. Make sure dishes are easily accessible so your acrobatic gliders can conveniently snack and hydrate. Keeping them well-fed with nutrients and hydration is crucial for their health and activity levels in their new habitat. How to set up sugar glider cage Now, it's the time to set up your cage. And setting up your sugar glider's cage is fun with some easy steps. Start by choosing a spacious cage with tight bar spacing to prevent scapes. Then pick a draft-free spot away from sunlight at a comfortable 65 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, gather all the cage necessities, sleeping pouches, toys, dishes, bedding, etc. Before adding accessories, install nesting pouches for snoozing and cozy bedding material on the floor. Add a pull-out tray under the cage base to catch waste. Now you can deck out their home with fun toys like ladders, wheels, and branches for playtime. Finally, attach food bowls and water bottles for easy access to nutrients. In no time, you will have a fully loaded habitat ready for your tiny daredevils to climb, glide, and thrive in their new home. So, that's all for a video about how to set up a sugar glider cage. If you enjoyed our video and found it helpful, let us know in the comment section.